Hi and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a new Firefly FFPR and this is basically their PRS copy. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy open and take a look at it. So it arrived just like normal, just a basic triangle box. We have a little bit of shipping damage right here to the box, shouldn't be anything major. Okay, let's get this thing cut open. So you can see this is the first time I've actually had any damage to the foam before. But it is damaged at the bottom in a couple places. Alright, let's go ahead and get this out and make sure it's okay. Just like with any Firefly, get your little pack, get your accessory cable, your Remy bar, Allen wrenches, that kind of stuff. Oh wow, the foam's even damaged through the back of the... So the foam really got cracked up. So hopefully the guitar is okay. Well, the headstock looks good. Is they're just calling it a yellow. But really it's a transparent burst. As you can see, it's flame maple top. Well, just initial impressions, it looks really good. We've got a beautiful backside here. I don't know if you can see the grain as well as I can, but pretty natural color on the back. We'll go over all the details here in a moment. I just wanted to get it open and get it looked at. But So I'm not going to do a complete in-depth review and tone demo today. We're just going to do a quick review, first impressions, and then a real quick playing demo, and that's it. But I will actually tear this apart, and we'll do a we'll do a better review later. But first impressions, this thing is gorgeous. It is a really nice. I'm sure it's a thin veneer on the top, but it's a very nice. Plain maple veneer. It's a mahogany body and a mahogany neck. We've got 24 nickel frets. I look, we've got block inlays all the way up to number one. Of course, we've got binding on the neck and the body with a great contour back here for the belly cut as well as a nice contour right here. Now, the ceramic pickups, I've already played this. It pretty much sounds like the Les Paul style they have. The... Uh, and actually, even the SG sounded similar, but they do all have a little variance in sound because of the design of the guitar. But it's still just a pretty hot, nice ceramic pickup. So we have a bone nut. If you can see the cut on that right there. We have the standard sealed tuners, but I played on it for probably 10 minutes. It holds tune really well. Um, if you look at the Tremolo, there's a standard six point much like you'd see on a Squire or other inexpensive guitars, but fully functional. Um, I haven't gone crazy with the whammy bar or anything. Um, that generally is, you know, something with these trimmers you want to keep it pretty light. But we have a standard volume and tone, three-way switch. Switch feels pretty good. Uh, the tone knob has got a little play, so it's going to have to be tightened up, but no big deal. Of course, on the back, we have our control cavities. And... You can actually see right here that there's a little bit of shielding paint coming that got on the on the outside onto the body. And I, my Jackson has that. I've seen it on a lot of lowering guitars. But without even opening the cavities, which I will do in the, in the full review, I'm pretty sure that's shielded because that is black shielding paint. 
But, you know, we've got nice knobs on, or nice uh, strap buttons on here, nice and big. The guitar doesn't feel overly heavy. It's I think it's under seven pounds. It's very comfortable to play. Um, it's got nice low action out of the box. I'm not going to adjust this at all. Neck is straight. The frets are scratchy. There is a little bit of scratch on it, but not horrible. I mean, nothing worse than a Squire or anything else. In fact, it's fairly mild compared to a lot of guitars, but it is scratchy. That'll play in, or I'll probably polish them. But the frets themselves, this is honestly one of the best feeling guitars I've played that has not had really expensive fret dressing. Um, now, I live in a dry climate, so that may change, and these may get a little fret sprout, but right now, this feels really good. I mean, this is this is by far the most impressive Firefly I've played. I've owned three now, and each one has been better than the last as far as quality. But out of the box, the setup on this is fantastic. I mean, absolutely fantastic. Um, there are zero complaints here. Usually, as I go over the guitar, I can find stuff under the finish pretty quickly, or a crack in the binding, or something. And I have found nothing on this. I mean, if I was going to have any complaint, oh, maybe the fretboard could have more figuring. But, I mean, it's rosewood, so I'm happy. And it's a nice dark color. I like my rosewood a little bit dark unless it's got some really nice highlight streaks. But, I mean, this is a nice-looking guitar. It's a nice feeling guitar. From what I've played so far, it's been a nice playing guitar. So this plays nice. It's got low action. It's fast. You can, it's got great fret access. I mean, there's no problem getting up here. So I have to say that this is a fantastic guitar. I like this better than their SG or Les Paul clone as far as comfort of playing. I do love my Green Burst uh, LP style. But uh, this is a nice guitar. I, I'm really surprised. I will say that it may be lacking a few of the features of a $400 Mitchell that I have. But it plays every bit as good. That, that review will be coming up. I do have a uh, MS450 I purchased a while back. But that guitar is $400 new. And, I mean, it has different types of pickups and it has fancier electronics. But overall, this guitar plays every bit as good, if not better. I am honestly really impressed with this Firefly. I mean, I, I've always impressed with them for the money. But this time... I'm really impressed. Um, I don't think I can say enough good about this. So let's go ahead and I'm going to plug it in real quick, just a real quick run through. But yeah, this is the guitar I did not think I was going to like nearly as much as I do. But this just became one of my main guitars, I think, as far as playability and just feels good. And it's really pretty. So, again, if you're looking for something that feels like a PRS, I can't, I can't speak to how that is. But as far as just a nice double cut that's pretty, with great access, just comfortable to play, yeah, I highly recommend it. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this kind of content, please click like and subscribe. Click the bell icon to stay notified. Leave me some comments and suggestions. And until next time, keep playing. Thank <laughs> you.